fika, yes. Yeah, it's a perfect place for fika, but I don't have so much. Okay. So you, you have to come in and uh, have a look. What do you have? Uh, actually, this is what I got. Okay. Good morning internet, it is quarter to seven in the morning and welcome back to the channel. So I'm now in this uh, nature campsite in Sweden and between 10 at night and seven in the morning you have to be quiet. So I have to talk a little bit quiet. Anyway, I woke up at six and look. Now the fog is slowly disappearing but you can still see it a little bit. Nice right? there's Ronin. I already packed uh, some of my stuff. Having uh, some breakfast now, and then I'm off. I'm leaving a little bit early today um, because I'll tell you. I am going to Gotland, Gotland today, which is a big island there. So I am now here in the south part of Sweden, and I'm going to ride to Oskarham, and then catch a ferry or boat here to Visby in this island and it's about 200 kilometers to the place where I have to catch the boat um, and that boat leaves at 11.30 so I was like I should leave a little bit early so I have plenty of time to ride there and I don't have to stress about that boat I have to be there I think 20 minutes in advance at the latest um, but yeah that's the plan for today I'm just going to enjoy my breakfast in the peace and silence of this forest. The only sound you hear are some birds. And there are these little, they're not mice, but they're kind of like hamsters. <laughs> I swear to God. And yesterday they were just running around here. They were not afraid at all. I saw a lot of them. But I think they're still sleeping too. I don't hear them now. Apparently there's some foxes here too. Didn't see any of those either. Let's enjoy a little bit more of the silence. What an awesome place to stay the night. Honestly. This place is so well thought out. I found it on the I Overlander by the way. But they have everything. They have uh, the toilets, they have showers. There is an open air kitchen, you can pump water up here. Really, really amazing place. Here you can cut your own uh, firewood if you want to make a fire at night. How awesome. And what better way to start a riding day than riding through the forest. Is so good. I have a reservation, uh, Fisby. Yeah, let's see. So I need your booking number. Seven eight. Yeah. So there's your ticket. Uh, so here's the number where you're going. Yeah. Uh, and uh, front line, so it's uh, in the front of the boat. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so now you're going to go to lane number four. Lane number four. Yeah. Okay. So just go as far as you can. Okay, <laughs> I will. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>
So Ronan is strapped in as you can see. Two more motorcyclists came and uh, by now there's a lot of good <laughs> cars as well. So I'm going to, uh, to the deck and find my chair. I think I have a chair. And I believe it's about three hours uh, before we arrive at the island. So uh, let's see. So uh, quiet. Let's find my spot. Yes. Found it. That's in the Ferdinand Spring. We're about to leave the port in a few minutes. Our estimated time of arrival, Oscar uh, Bisbe, will be uh, 20 minutes to 3. And we're there. This one. <laughs> Couldn't remember which deck. Yeah, it's this one. Welcome to Gotland! And before I do anything else, I first have to do something very important. And that is experience real Swedish Fika. It is now quarter to three. So I'm just in time because the Swedish people take Fika in between 11 and 3, apparently. <laughs> and what is Swedish Fika is probably afternoon tea for the British and in Sweden fika means coffee with a sweet or savory sweet but it is a lot more than that so I've been told in any case I decided today is a good day to experience this fika so I am now first riding to a nice place to experience that. So, welcome to Fisby. That's the, I think this is the main town on the island. It looks amazing. Look how cute. This is so nice! Wow! It almost looks like a movie set or something. Cafe. This is where we're gonna have the fika. Hello. Can I have a, a, a Swedish fika? Fika, yes. Yeah, it's a perfect place for fika, but I don't have so much. Okay. So you, you have to come in and have a look. What do you have? Uh, actually, this is what I got. Okay. So it's uh, nearly sold out, but uh, some couple of them. It's a chocolate cake. Uh -huh. I have a very small piece of this, portwise cake. Surfer and pancake, the Gotlandish speciality. And um, not canel, but it's cardamom buns. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Italian almond cake. Uh huh. Uh, uh, apple cake. That's it. What is the name for the. Uh, so, uh, in the Swedish? Swedish name, um, you could call it canel bulle, but it's no. Uh, ah. Canel bulle is with cinnamon. Yeah. And this is a uh, cardamom bun. Ah, okay. So with cardamom. Card yeah. yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll have the cardamom bun. Okay, okay. Yeah. And then it goes with a black coffee, right? Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, the yeah, yeah. Fika. So, uh, then we <laughs> fika, uh, absolutely. So, here you're happy to serve yourself fika. Uh, coffee, ah, it's uh, empty. You ah. take a cup out and okay. I'll come out with it. Okay, great, thank you. You can Ooh. drink how much you want. I'll put the coffee okay. kettle okay. inside. So All right, great. Thank you. Let's see. Uh, 
That's the part one of the fika. Yeah, the coffee. Mm, that is excellent. So fika is often translated as a coffee and cake break, but it is a lot more than that. And for many Swedes, fika is like a ritual. And even the Volvo car plant, they stop for fika. And I'm actually doing it completely wrong because you're supposed to have fika with friends or colleagues. And for Swedish people, it really is a pause in the day. It's uh, a moment to socialize and just enjoy uh, a moment of um, being amongst, amongst friends or colleagues. So yeah, now I'm doing this obviously by myself. So it's not true, true Swedish fika experience, but I do my best. Right, thank you. <laughs> so there is my cardamom bun. So yeah, as I said before, you can do fika with many different types of treats. Um, but I chose this uh, cardamom bun. Let's try it. Mm. <laughs> that is delicious. Give you this for the road. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. That was so nice. I even get an extra snack for the road. Let's have a look what's inside. And it's so stupid because I know the word for Swedish for thank you, which is tak, which is really easy to remember. Especially because I know that tak in Polish means yes, and here in Sweden it means thank you. But I'm just just been speaking English so much that I just keep on forgetting to use it. How did he give me? Oh, he gave me another. He gave me another uh, cardamom bun. Oh, that's awesome! I love it. Love it. All right, um, I'm going to find a place to stay tonight. I made a reservation in a hotel because I desperately, desperately need electricity to charge all my devices after three nights of yeah, not having any uh, facilities almost, or at least no electricity. So uh, let's do that. All right. I think I've, I'm riding in circles. <laughs> it should be around here. I think. Yes, here. And check out where I am staying. Look at my room. It's like I stepped right into the 70s or the 60s, I don't know. And it's not even a room, it's a whole apartment. Look, I have a kitchen here. Ta-ta. It's huge. Anyway, I think it's one of the best rooms I ever had. I don't think I will forget this wallpaper anytime soon. Because <laughs> I'm actually not staying in the hotel. They were like, yeah, we put you in uh, the old building. Um, so I was like, okay. So it was just around the corner and then they gave me this. So <laughs> this is so nice. So in the next video, I'm going to explore the town a little bit more and show you what's here. And I'm gonna do a circle around the island. So I'm really looking forward to it because my first impressions are really good of this place. So yeah, that was it for today. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. And then I'll see you in the next video.